The following video is a tutorial on how to simplify square roots using the prime factorization method. Now there are a couple different methods. One we've already talked about, and that method is the uh, square root method. If you if you would rather learn the perfect square method, then um, we have another video uh, that shows this method. Um, and this method is a little bit better at understanding. It gets a better understanding of what's going on. Um, but it's not as reliable as the prime factorization, which is what we're going to do. And so we're going to call it the factor me method. So we have the perfect square method and the factor method. To do these, um, we have different procedures. And so we're going to go through and we're going to talk about the procedure of the factor method. We've already got a video on the perfect squares, and so I'm going to use that to kind of help me get the procedure for the, the factor method. The, the perfect square method factors out perfect squares. So I'm going to show you an example and then, and then use that to give me my procedure for my factor method. So the example is to find, uh, simplify the square root of 18. Well, 18 can factor into square root of 9 times square root of 2. So that's a perfect square method. You factored out 9, which is a perfect square. And then you can actually write it out as uh, square root of 9 times square root of 2. Well, the square root of 9 is like square root of 3 times 3. Well, 3 times 3 are prime factors, and it's a pair of prime factors. So whenever you have a pair of prime factors, it's essentially like factoring out a perfect square. Right? The pair of prime factors is 3 times 3, uh, which equals 9, but the square root of 3 times 3 is 3. And that's essential to understand. So every time that we have a, a pair of numbers, we take that number and take the square root of that and bring it out front. So our procedure is to first factor into the product of prime numbers. Okay, So 18, we could have factored into 3 times 3 times 2. Okay, so we call it the product of primes. And, and you can do this a couple different ways. Um, some people like to use a factor tree. There are other ways to do it. You can uh, just write it out. There, there are various ways to go about, go about doing this. Okay, the second thing you're going to do is once you get it in the product of primes, you want to go and um, pair up all of the uh, factors that, that are the same. And you want to put them into pairs. So the first thing to do is to go through on the 72 and factor into um, product of primes. So we're using a factor tree. 72 is 6 times 12, and 6 is 2 times 3, 12 is 4 times 3, 2 is 4 is 2 times 2. So we have two different groups of pairs. Okay, we've got two, three twos, but that breaks down to, to um, just one pair of twos and then an extra two, which we'll have at the end. And then you've got two threes also. So we have a pair of twos and we have a pair of threes. So what we do after we've factored into primes, we, we circle those pairs. Okay, so we're going to go into back into our problem. We're going to recognize where the pairs are and circle them. And by circling them, that tells us, okay, we recognize that this is 2 times 2, which means it's a perfect square, essentially. And then we're going to do, you know, do the same thing with 3 times 3. That's a perfect square. So we know that we can take the square root of 2 times 2, and we can take the square root of 3 times 3. The next step is, what do I do with those pairs? You know, now that I've recognized those pairs, what do I actually do with those pairs? Well, you take one pair of numbers, and you remove it from the square root and you place one of the two numbers out front. So this two, the two pair of twos we bring out front and we leave a two out there because the square root of four is two. Right? The square root of two times two is two. And then you, you do that for the three. So in this particular problem we're going to take the pair of twos and we're going to remove them and put them out front and have a two. And then we're going to have a pair of threes and remove both of those numbers. The whole circle gets removed and we're going to multiply that by the front of the square root as well. And if you notice, what's remaining? Well, there's that 1, 2 remaining. So our answer is going to have the 2 out front, the 3 out front, and then it's going to have the square root of 2 left in the middle. So we remove the 2, remove the 3, and then we've got a 2 left in the middle. And so that gives me 2 times 3, which is 6, and then you're left with square root of 2. So the last step is to multiply the front, which was the 2 times 3, and then write out your answer. And so you just remultiply those two times the three, so you don't want to you don't want to leave it as factored. We like to multiply things out if we can. So essentially, you're factoring, you're pulling out pairs, and then you're remultiplying. Is what you're going to be what you're going to be doing here. So the answer is six times the square root of two. Okay, so I want to look at a couple of examples um, to show you how this would work. So let's look at the example um, two. So our second example here, which is going to be the square root um, of four hundred and twenty so we're gonna look at the square root of four twenty and when we do this we're gonna use the factor method so we've got to do the prime factorization of four hundred twenty well four twenty and 
it's easy. Whenever you got a zero up front, you might as well multiply 42 times 10. That's easy. Now, factor six, 42, that's 6 times 7. Factor 10, that's 2 times 5. Factor 6, that's 2 times 3. So you, you've now got all prime numbers. 2, 3, 7, 2, 5. Those are all prime numbers. So now we pair them up. we got only one pair. The only pair we have is 2. So we got two twos, and we have a 3, a 5, and a 7. I just usually order them from least to greatest. It doesn't matter if you do that or not. I've got a pair of twos, so I circle that pair, and then that one of those twos comes out front because it's like taking the square root of 4. And then I leave everything inside, and I've got to remultiply. So this time I'm remultiplying inside rather than outside. And 3 times 5 times 7 is 105. So the four, simplification of 400, square root of 420 is 2 times the square root of 105.